the energy vibration reading for the um, Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, it is the 12th week of the year 2018 and I want to say thank you for your likes shares and support please thumbs up and like these videos please go and listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and also the quarter reading that is for the month of April May and June okay so let's see what is absolutely going on for you Virgos in this week this week begins from the 26th of March until the 1st of April so let's see this week is an emotional week but it has the energy of the fire balancing out on Monday for you Virgos you have the Prince of Cups and the Prince of Cups energy can be a child that you're going to have a situation with a child with but it can be an emotional situation it can be good emotion or bad emotion but the Monday is an water energy okay on Tuesday you have the energy of the wheel of fortune so this is wonderful for you Virgo so what this is actually beginning to say because the story is building up for your week is that whatever your um, whatever situation that you come in contact with the Prince of Cups it's is um, someone from a past life that you come back to work out something well okay so um, for um, whoever is connecting with this Prince of Cups it is a love um, from a past life okay the moon and this moon is a moon that is letting you know be careful there are um, it could be for some of you it is an enemy uh, and this can be an even enemy which this person which you're not knowing could be an even enemy okay so be careful of this um, and then you have the energy of the three of cups which um, you know um, some of you could be thinking yeah I don't know what I should do should I trust this person or shouldn't I trust this person you know there is there is um, for some of you whoever this um, this this person is because it's someone between the ages of 25 and 45 and um, it's as if you don't know what how what way to go with this person okay but you have the energy of the three of cups which is a celebration which um, you could be on Thursday seeing this person and but it's as if it's an even enemy and I'm going to look at why that came out on Friday um, the Prince of Pentacles there's going to be a situation with you um, with you guys between the ages of 25 and 45 okay and um, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen but hold on the weekend what's in the weekend for you guys um, Wow love is in the air okay in the weekend you guys are going to be connecting you guys are going to be connecting you are going to be meeting someone um, you men between the ages of oh yeah ladies or gentlemen um, you know adults young adults between the ages of tw um, 25 and 45 and um, you're going to be connecting um, with someone on Saturday but okay I gotta finish this on Sunday you have to six eight nine of Pentacles so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be excellent the nine of Pentacles okay I'm sorry but I have to go back to that okay here you have a situation where you have also the nine of cups <laughs> so you Virgos it's gonna be a wonderful week it's gonna be a wonderful week you Virgos your wishes and dreams are gonna be coming true so this is wonderful the nine of cups is that your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true okay but I need to ask a question because I'm I'm, I'm you know this energy um, of the moon comes up and um, 
Um, because what I'm receiving is that for some of you ladies out there, there is someone who you you have met, who you have known from a lifetime and lifetime before, and you both came back in this lifetime to connect with each other. Okay, but as as if you guys are thinking, I don't know what to think about this person. Can I trust this person? Is it possible that I can trust this person? Who is this person? And why this is coming up now is that I'm seeing it's a it's something it's a karmatic situation from the past and the energy of the moon is here and this moon is a moon where it's like an hidden enemy that you're not aware of and you're going to be victorious over this okay so it's as if this person um, it's as if you can trust this person okay because whenever um, the energy of the sword comes up is as if yes you can trust this person if it was in reverse then you um, you can't trust this person okay so whatever I, um, whoever this person is go ahead with this person you can trust this person it is as if you're thinking is it possible I can trust this person and you know should I trust this person what what is going on with this person okay and the the story comes up the ace of swords comes up so um, this person is not really a hidden enemy this person is really is trustworthy okay I know some of you are having so I, I don't know if I could trust this person you know sometimes it, it is too good to be true sometimes I feel so you know drawn to this person is this person is playing me is this person be honest about me and you know this sort of a thing I really had to ask this question I'm sorry so for you, Virgos, it's really going to be a week of love because um, whatever you're wishing for in a relationship, it's going to be coming up because um, it's going to be good. Okay, let's, because um, I can go so much deeper in this reading. Okay, so in the beginning of the week, there is the energy of the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups. So this is someone between the ages of 18 to 20 uh, to 30. You are going to have a situation with someone. It's as if you are going to, whether you are um, the princess. So, um, you ladies, um, you ladies, um, 18 till 30, you're going to be meeting, um, or you men, 18 to 30, you're going to be meeting this water sign person. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, okay? This is someone from your past life. You have had a relationship with this person. You have been drawn to this person, and it's okay, because they are okay, all right? Um, you guys have asked that they come back in this lifetime to be with you um, to go through certain things, okay? This could be a soulmate because... Um, this this could be a soulmate because here you have the energy of the two of cups. The weekend is going to be good for you guys, okay? So what is transpiring here is that you men are going to be meeting this woman who's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and it's going to be okay. It's going to be a positive energy for you, and you can trust this person. As we move forward in the middle of the week, it's a wonderful energy because. Um, a lot of you are going to be um, coming in contact with soulmates or twin flame. No, it's more soulmates. Uh, you guys are going to be coming in contact with more soulmates. Uh, some of you are going to be thinking, may, um, you know, is it possible that I can trust these people? Is it okay for me to trust these people? And um, personally, I don't put my trust in everyone. And this is because I read. So... <laughs> I can see people for what they are, but um, for the people who are not listening to their intuition and guidance, um, you need to understand that it's okay to go along with this person because the energy of the moon is here. Normally, that is an hidden enemy. The energy of the moon normally is an hidden enemy, but it is saying it's okay. You know, go ahead. You know this is going to be good this is a karmatic situation that is going to be good you wanted this situation to come back in time okay as we look at the end of the week we have the energy of the moon and the nine of Pentacles and a celebration so this is going to be good so um, whatever you were going through and um, you know if you had 
you know money is going to be coming back to you so and so if um, if someone didn't pay you or if someone has taken money away from you the money is going to be returned to you okay the money is going to be um, return to you so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so um, this is positive to hear for a lot of you guys and then I want to see what is going to be here oh my god it's nine it's three times nine so this is a wake-up call for you Virgos okay you Virgos are having a wake-up call okay we have the nine of cups which is your wishes and dreams is coming out we have the six of cups so it is in this week um, um love relationship these are relationship that is coming in um from a soul um a soul purpose from a soul life um this is uh, um the relationship that is coming in from a soul purpose this is something that you have um called in at this moment and it's okay so for you men between the ages of um you know 18 until 30 who whoever you meet that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it's going to be okay in this week not to worry about it okay it's a good relationship weekend is going to be wonderful because it's as if um, extra money is going to come in um, for you and your partner not only that but um, there is there is love that is coming in for you and this love is powerful this love is a soulmate love this love is I love that you won't believe what you're feeling when you're in it then you're going to know that you are connected with your soulmate okay um some of you are going to feel this twin flame is as if you're the opposite pola um, polaria of this person what do I mean of that is that you're gonna meet someone and it's as if you can read the person the person can read you you feel connected to the person um, you're so drawn and attracted to this person okay you guys have to understand something and hold on because people who works with energy can do that also okay these are the people who um, connect with you via the dream time and you need to understand and there's a lot of this going on the last time that people are entering your dreams and connecting with your dreams you need to ask if you can enter the person dream okay it's um, it's not polite for people to just you know want to connect with people when they're sleeping because people have different duties while they're sleeping okay because um, we are not aware of what is happening and this is happening okay so um, it's gonna be wonderful some of you are going to feel so attracted so connected um, to these people and this is a transformation for some of you a transformation you're going to go within to meet your your mighty I am present self and to find true happiness okay I've always said to people do not look outside for happiness look within for happiness and there is going to be this wonderful transformation okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for being here I um, um, please like share these videos and um, please thumbs up and like and share these videos and listen to the third quarter um, the April reading will be uploaded next week I want to say I love you so much and namaste